What is up, people? Welcome. A Star Wars hotel sounds like a dream come true. Spending a couple of nights within the Star Wars universe on a cruise, traveling through space. Who wouldn't want to do that? Also being fully immersed on the ship and then being able to seamlessly go to Galaxy Edge's Batu. How awesome is that? And so when they released a trailer for Star Wars Galactic Star Wars Galactic Cruiser Hotel, I thought they had something good on their hands, but after seeing the trailer, I was really disappointed though. Uh, I kind of wanted to react to the trailer, but um they um they pulled the trailer. They they deleted it from YouTube. Um but somebody re-uploaded it, so um Kind of, I don't want to like be too negative on it, but um, I still wanted to give my reaction to it and um, just just show you the amazing Galactic Cruiser. <laughs> let's uh, let's have a quick look, right? And Moral, hello there. I'm super excited to see what you and your team created. We cannot wait to have you aboard because Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is a first of its kind vacation experience where you get to spend two days and two nights living out your very... Two days and two nights. It's not a long time though, but if it's an amazing experience, why not, right? Very own Star Wars story. Oh, I'm just too excited. We, we gotta go inside. Hyperspace. Welcome to the Halcyon Star Cruiser. This is like I've 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 been watching a lot of videos on this as well and like nobody I've seen so far except for one channel IGN nobody liked it though and I can see why though it like it does not give a uh, a uh, very Star Wars Star Warsy feel the panels look um I know somebody called it Star Trek. Kind of uh, agree with that. I don't know why it. First thing that popped into my head was uh, Battlestar Galactica. Not really Star Wars though. Wow, this is unreal. It's like I'm walking straight into a Star Wars movie. Except it's not a movie, right? You get to be in the middle of it. That looks cool though. Like the the the, the artist concept. That looks pretty cool though. All and in the middle of the action. And then there's activities you can do on here. Yeah, there are activities. activities on board the, ship. the first one that I'm really excited about is lightsaber training. Oh my. Lightsaber training. They also have a video about lightsaber training, by the way. We might just do that as well, though. Gosh. Here on the bridge, we also invite all of our guests to do bridge operations training. And occasionally, this is where we can go to hyperspace. Punch it! Occasionally. <laughs> Focus on making it. sure we have some of the best entertainment in the galaxy on I don't know which video I was watching, but somebody also pointed this out. I did like it didn't even cross my mind though, but um like seeing the walls over here which are paneled and everything, and then like at the back over here and 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 this part as well seems like just normal normal ceiling. <laughs> and everything like nothing has been added to it not not like any panels or whatsoever to give it a like a better feel um yeah that doesn't really inspire confidence in in this like the galactic cruiser hotel board one of which i'm so excited about is this pop star who is known throughout the galaxy for all You know it's so weird though. Like, they just have props over here, right? The most, the most Star Warsy thing I would say are these lights over here. That gives me the best Star Wars vibe so far. It's weird. Going, I just passed through that door. And I have no idea. Be quiet, man. Look above and see the world slowly emerge before your eyes. Feel the swell as the moon begins to rise above the tide. All around, change is coming 
something new is in the This feels so Fifth Element instead of Star Wars. Welcome to the new world. Sings very beautifully though, by the way. But again, it's just like the first thing that popped into my head was Fifth Element. I know she's supposed to be a Twi'lek and everything, but, um, or Twi'lek, how do you pronounce that, by the way? Twi'lek, well, let's go with Twi'lek though. But like, it just, it doesn't give anything star wars though it like yeah there you are comes oh out gosh. on the generic wall I again lights were low and this performer just came out of nowhere you just it, met gaia she was incredible let's get you back to the launch pod in your home planet sounds great all right And that's it, though. It's a two-night adventure on the Galactic Star Cruiser, which it's not a long time, though. But um, for for like, if you're if you're a Star Wars fan, that's that's probably not enough <laughs> at all, though. But it, it could be really awesome, right? But like seeing everything from from like the ship's panels, the artist concept looks really awesome. I. I, I as well, not really getting a Star Wars vibe from it, but it looks really, really cool. Um, and just like, uh, where are the panels again? Just looking at this, like people are going to stand there, are going to play with the, the things on the bridge, like the panels and everything. It's it just, the thing that it gives me is just generic um, space vibes instead of like a Star Wars vibe. Um, I think that's really missing with with the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. Um, I don't know, like, as I said, the, the only video I found out of, like, uh, a couple of videos that I've watched was the IGN video, and he was really positive about it, but that's, I think, a really... Because they went there, like, the guy went there, and I think that's a really curated... Um, experience that you get really set up um, in a way that it might really feel like Star Wars but this is supposed to be a trailer to get people attracted over there and um, I just I just don't know it 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 doesn't really give a good representation of I think what it should be but it definitely to me does not feel like Star Wars nothing gives like a Star Wars vibe and one of the big things that I'm missing is it's all really generic and for me Star Wars um, it has like a real feel to it like an aesthetic to it but it's also about like all the people in universe um, um, and I think with, with a hotel like this and building up like a Star Wars experience um, I, I do think you need like um recognizable um, figures uh, at least already in the trailer just to like give a feeling of you're, you're gonna be two days two nights or whatsoever in this in this universe but they're not showing anything that would make me want to go there I'd like I would just love to see a more Star Wars aesthetic and then after that tease me with like a hologram of Yoda being there or or whatever just give me some like vibes that it is actually rooted in the Star Wars universe itself so yeah from what I've seen cuz like what I said I've been looking through videos there was somebody else oh, I cannot remember like I've seen too many of videos from this um <laughs> um that had like early access tickets or like a season pass maybe um and he could already get like a room over there but everything is like booked it's fully booked <laughs> for like a pretty long time um uh, and i think that he even showed after the trailer people canceled like not everybody but like a couple of people canceled their reservations 
which seems pretty understandable when you see this and you you're a Star Wars fan, you're just I think you're just expecting more from it. I think that's the better way to to put it. You're just expecting more from it. Um so yeah, and I don't think like seeing this right here really uh, I don't know maybe captivates people and like being oh my god this is this is amazing this is star wars because um to come to like a second point it's insanely expensive to spend two nights in here i think the two nights for uh, uh, i might have to look it up and put it on screen as well for two adults is or like for two people is about forty eight hundred dollars, and a family of four for two, like a two night adventure, is um, around six thousand dollars. And for like, f- let's just round it up to like five k for two people. It's it's not a good deal. Um, yeah. It's it's kind of uh, <laughs> it's kind of bad though. <laughs> also, like the lightsaber trying, I'm trying to find that one. Um, let's see if I can find it. I found the the video for lightsaber training. Let's watch that one as well, right? Because that's I think an activity. Yeah, that's an activity on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Hopefully, that will be better. <laughs> Probably not. Welcome to the lightsaber training pod. So excited this to have you insane. here. This looks unbelievable. We have been working on this experience to have a whole brand new way for our guests to experience this ancient art of the lightsaber. Can I hold that? Absolutely. The ancient art of the lightsaber. That's Absolutely. mine? Please, okay. please. Okay. How are you holding, how are you Should taking the lightsaber on? like right that, right dude? There, right there. <laughs> what? That's mine. Please of the lightsaber. That's such Can a weird way to, That's mine. to get please. hold of it. Okay. This is for you. So do I turn it on or Go what, for it. what do right, I do here? Right there. Oh. All right, so I'm so standing right, you're right here. Right there. I'm facing you're here. Face off against the remote. <laughs> that is fun. Welcome to the Bridge of the Halcyons. Oh, that's even more, though. But also, that doesn't really look really impressive, though, for a hotel. You probably send at least $5,000 for. Lightsaber training doesn't look that impressive to me, which is... It's shitty, though, because uh, as a Star Wars fan, I want this to succeed. This is just something extra outside of the the, the 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 cinematic universe and and like toys and, and and Legos and everything collectibles to experience the like the Star Wars universe and by then like showing this it just doesn't look that awesome <laughs> let's see what they uh and also like Kind of weird. Like, I understand that they really want to show it, the light type training as well. But um, I don't know. Like, that's, that's, it seems like they should have let other people show it. Maybe get some kids in there, let them play around with the lightsabers and uh, just show them having fun with it instead of like, yeah, I don't want to be like an asshole though, but like this dude standing there being like, uh, 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 and being all stiff and shit. Like, it's supposed to be something fun, and you don't see, I, I didn't, like, yeah. Let's continue. <laughs> Star Cruiser. This looks so cool in here. Here in front of the systems, this is one of my favorite places because you actually get to push all the buttons. You can actually change, change the settings, control the ship, but you know, we can really. Look how generic that looks though. Then again, I, I got to be upfront. I don't know if this is like done already. Maybe this is still in development, like these panels and stuff. I don't really understand why I show them. But you can press the buttons. I just like there's no, it's just generic buttons and, and, and switches and everything. Like 
what what do they do why would you press them what's the fun in just press there's not even like um oh my god i'm i'm gonna get roses for this but like what's the uh the star wars uh language again it's it's i have to look it up real quick though can't remember it language uh god damn why can i not remember that Arabesh. Ar how do you Ar 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 Arabesh. i'll just pronounce it like that oh my god i'm stupid but there's nothing of like anything like that on the panels that would make it more immersive that's what i'm trying to say it's just plain but, buttons you know we could really use some help defending the ship are you up for it I'm definitely up for it. I don't know. You should trust me to do it. You're going to be actually guiding where we're, where we're. In all honesty, though, that, like, it's not windows, though. It's, like, screens and everything in the rooms as well. That does look pretty cool, though. Aiming, so you're going <laughs> to aim, and I'll fire. Okay. All right. Ooh. You want to take us to hyperspace? Yeah, I didn't want to be like all negative this video, but it's just like things that when I see him now, it's just like, oh my God. The, all the screens, the, gener the generic same screens everywhere. And like we just saw a panel with a lot of buttons. But there seem to be way more of these panels in the back as well, like with one, two, three, four, four, five buttons and a joystick. That's about it. And then there's one panel. Right. Just don't let me mess this up. There's yeah, one okay. panel so for hyperspace. Give that lever a strong pull. Okay. This this is this is the coolest though. Just the the planet with the with the Thai fighters. That's the coolest thing in the entire in the entire trailer. Like the sneak peek. Oh, dude. All right. I'm gonna be like completely honest. I don't want to be an asshole and I don't want to be all that negative because I really, really like Star Wars. I really love Star Wars. But I don't know, by them showing this it looks like it could be a really fun experience and i hope that people that are still going have an amazing experience because um if not just for the experience it's a shit ton of money to spend on two days or two nights on on an hotel <laughs> it's a shit ton of money so i i wanted to succeed but it's it, it like the the problem is it gives a way too generic um uh, like space exploration feel instead of a star wars feel vibe whatever you want to call it and i think they just missed like a big chance in there um i was looking and that's one video i do remember though star wars theory awesome dude but <laughs> um he was talking about like why not have a hotel that's one side um i think what he said was like the jedi temple and the other side was like a sith temple and um he has like more ideas for it but that alone right there i think would be would be a way cooler hotel than the galactic star cruiser and i, I just i hate to say it and i i really don't want to say it because i do want this to succeed but it is what it is i think <laughs> again i want to say i hope that everybody that is still going has an has an awesome time enjoys themselves and um just love star wars a little bit more coming like having spent five thousand dollars on a hotel <laughs> you gotta love it a little bit more after that that's all for me um See you on the next video. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>